Hi guys, <clears throat> welcome back. I'm Kathy with Kathy's Weight Watchers Journey. <clears throat> Sorry, oh my goodness. Okay, we are going to make saute chicken with lemon caper sauce. That was on last week's thing. And for all programs, whether it be blue, green, or purple, it's five points uh, because you're using chicken thighs and they always... Uh, the dark meat always costs you more than the breast. Okay, but you could make this with the breast. Use the same recipe, use the breast. And then in your recipe builder, see how many points it's going to be. For some of us, it's not going to be much. But I happen to like thighs. My family likes thighs, so I'm doing it with thighs. Okay, so we're going to need a fourth cup of flour, some black pepper, four chicken thighs, two teaspoons of olive oil, one cup of chicken broth, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one and a half tablespoons of capers, and one tablespoon of parsley, and they say uh, fresh, but I don't have short fresh, so I'm just using my dried, use what I have, and a half of a lemon sliced. All right, I'm gonna bring you right back. I forgot a couple of ingredients, and we'll get started on this. I'll be right back, guys, here we go. First, you're going to take your flour, fourth cup of flour, put it down there on your parchment paper, wax paper, whatever you got, okay? And then you're going to add, I think it's a fourth, hang on a minute, let me refer to this. Yeah, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper. The only thing I'm changing up in this recipe is this next little thing. Every time I do chicken, I use adobo sauce. Just cause. <laughs> just cause. So I'm gonna put probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of that on there as well, okay? Does it add to the points? Nothing, it's just a seasoning, guys. That's it. All right, let's mix this up a little bit. Okay, in our pan, I got my pan heating over here. You're going to put two tablespoons. Let me make sure I'm correct. No, two teaspoons. Oh my, I'm glad, see? Gotta check myself. <laughs> you guys are supposed to be checking myself. Okay, two teaspoons of olive oil, guys, in your pan. There you go. Okay, that's that. Okay, now we're gonna get our chicken going. And all you're gonna do with your chicken, boy, I tell you, I trimmed a lot of the fat off of this. These were pretty fatty. All right, you're just gonna put that, the flour on it, best you can. And it's going right in your frying pan. And just do them all. I'm just going to do this with my hand. I can't deal with that. Okay. <laughs> Just saying. Some things are just easier. Okay, and you're just going to let that just go. Um, and you're going to cook each on each side for about five minutes, is it. Okay, so that's that. We can get rid of this. And you're just going to leave it alone. Don't play with it. Don't mess it around. Don't touch it. Wait for it. <laughs> As my old boss used to say, wait for it. <laughs> okay. I got a little timer here just to keep myself on track. <laughs> Gotta keep 
me in check. Okay, and you only turn it once, so. so I'm going to bring it back when I'm ready to turn this. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes. We are going to flip these over, and you're going to let them cook for another five minutes, okay? They're, going to, they're not going to be cooked all the way. They will finish in the sauce. So yes, let them cook another five minutes. Just leave it alone. Okay, I'll bring it back when this five minutes is done and we'll continue. Okay guys, we're back. I wanted to tell you a little something. Earlier today I put on a cranberry or yeah, cranberry orange scone recipe, which is fine. Um, in your cake pan, use a smaller round so you get a thicker scone. You might have to cook it a little longer, but I like thicker scones. And I did not take that into consideration when I put that in my one springform pan. I should have used my smaller one. Um, but anyway, it's still going to be good. It's just going to be a thinner scone. So <laughs> I just had to come in and tell you that. I kind of answered a couple little questions for some of my subscribers, but you know. Oh, well, I came back to tell you, so there you are. All right, guys, this has been another about five minutes on here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take these out, and they're not all the way cooked, but they will be in the end, okay? Go ahead and take them out, put them on a plate. Like I said, you can use chicken breast if you prefer. It's completely up to you. You make it your recipe, guys. I don't like the way they um, describe certain things on here, so but that's just me. I'm, I'm a little weird like that. All right, so now you're going to go ahead and put in your chicken broth. One cup of chicken broth. And you're going to bring that up to a nice little boil. Okay, so that's going to take a couple minutes. I'll bring it back when it starts to boil. Okay, guys, it's up to a little boil. Now what you're going to do, go ahead and put your chicken back in. Now, see, that's a step I would not even do. But anyway, I'm trying to follow this recipe a little bit, but some of it does not make sense to me. It seems like sometimes they just make things harder than what they need to be. So... Seriously, and in my description below, I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell you my way, okay? What my way is going to be is you're going to cook this on each side for, um, and just let that cook for a few minutes. Now what we're going to add, we're going to go ahead and add our um, lemon juice right in there. Two tablespoons. It's so like I told you guys, I have made this recipe before, and I did not do that step. I don't agree with it, and I'm not going to do it. Okay. You're going to put in your tablespoon and a half of capers. Just throw them all in there, guys. It's all good. Okay. Then you are going to need a tablespoon of parsley and just throw it on there, just like that. Okay. The last thing you're going to put on there is really thin lemon slices. Okay, and just throw them right on top of your chicken, just like that. You're going to keep this at a medium, a nice medium. I, I would not, don't put it on medium high, like a, a nice medium is what I would do. All right, now what I would do is this, cover it. Whoops, I got the wrong cover. Anyway, you're going to cover it for 20 minutes. And then what you're going to do, you're going to probe it. And you're going to see if it's 165 in your thickest part of your chicken thigh. This is boneless. So 165 and it's ready to rock and roll. Put it on your plate, serve it. 
put a little drizzle of some of your uh, the stuff, the chicken broth on there. And that is a delicious, delicious meal. I think we, I'm not sure what I'm still, I don't know. I was going to have squash. Probably not. Um, huh. Maybe some green beans would be great with this dish. I'm thinking that's probably what we're going to do with it. But go ahead and cover that up. 20 minutes, and you're ready to serve. Five points. Five points, guys. Each WW plant, whatever. If you're blue, purple, green, doesn't matter. Five points. Unless you do it with chicken breast, then it's going to be a lot less points. Um, I like chicken thighs, so, you know, I don't mind them once in a while. I don't eat them a lot, but, you know, I do eat them. All right, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you try it. Let me know in the comments below. Um, like I say, a lot of recipes make things difficult, and it is not necessary. I've been cooking for many, many, many years professionally, and that step is not necessary. Um, and I am going to always bring you the easiest way to cook, the safest way to cook. Okay, I'm not going to tell you anything wrong. Um, try it for yourself. You, if you're a person that likes to follow recipes to the hilt, by all means, go ahead and do that. But there is other ways to do that, and it's not difficult, and it's not supposed to be. Cooking is not supposed to be difficult. It is supposed to be enjoyable to do for our family. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. And I will put the recipe down below. And I hope you enjoy this. Thank you all for watching. And I hope you come back real soon for another video in my kitchen. Bye, guys.